Hey there, welcome to the Proud Animator YouTube channel. So, in this lesson, we are going to illustrate a drama in flat style all by using simple geometric shapes. So, let's start. Okay, so right now we are going to start our character illustration with the head of the character. For that, I am taking a rectangle and making the corners around it. And after that, I will not add eyes for this character. We are going to add some goggles. So let's do that as well. So for adding the reflection, I have added few clipping masks for the reflection. Okay, so the goggles are done. So let's add the nose of the character. And let's add some shade to it. And after that, I'm going to add the beard for the character and then jump on to add the mouth for the character with rounded rectangle. Okay, now I'm going to add the ears for the character with the help of ellipse tool. Now let's add an earring to this character. Okay, so right now let's add few detailing to the beard of this character as well. Okay, now I'm going to copy the same shape of the face for the neck of the character. Well, I think the elements of the face are not properly aligned. So first of all, do that as well before proceeding forward. Okay, so right now we are going to illustrate the body of the character. So for the leg of the character, I'm going to use pen tool. So first of all, adjust the proportions.
okay so to vary the thickness i'm going to use the width tool to shrink the lower portion of the leg for the foot of the character i'm again using few rectangles and making the corners rounded So right now I'm going to copy the leg and reflect it vertically for the other side. Now proceed with the hands of the character. So for the arm I'm using pen tool. So here as well I'm using width tool to vary the thickness of the hands from arm to the wrist portion for the hand portion i'm using ellipse tool over here so right now i'm going to add drumsticks to the hand So for the hands for the other side, I'm going to duplicate the shape layers of the hands and reflect it vertically. So our basic character design is done. Right now, we are going to illustrate the equipments for the drums and for that, I'm going to use ellipse and rectangle tool. So until now, our basic illustration of the drummer is done. Right now, you can even go further and add few more detailing to it, add shades to it to look even better. So I have added more detailing and just played with the proportion of the character and it looks something like this. So give it a try and try it on your own and let me know how it turns out. So that is it for this lesson. Hope you liked and enjoyed a lot in this lesson and if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye